classical crescendo. Francesco Antonio Bonporti, 1672-1749. Early life and education. Francesco Antonio Bonporti was born in 1672 in Trento, Italy. He showed an early interest in music and began his musical education at a young age. He studied violin and composition in his hometown, receiving guidance from local musicians and teachers. Career as a priest and composer Bonporti was ordained as a priest in 1695 and served as a chaplain in various churches in Trento. Alongside his religious duties, he dedicated significant time to composition. He composed a wide range of works, including sacred music, chamber music, and concertos. His compositions were characterized by their inventive and expressive style. Influences and musical style Bonporti was influenced by the musical trends of his time, particularly the works of Archangelo Corelli. He incorporated elements of the Baroque style into his compositions, employing intricate melodic lines, harmonic progressions, and ornamental embellishments. His music was admired for its technical skill and emotional depth. Innovations in music theory Bonporti made significant contributions to music theory, particularly in the field of counterpoint. He developed a new system of counterpoint known as the melodious thoroughbase, which aimed to create a more expressive and melodic approach to harmonic writing. His theoretical treatises and compositions helped shape the understanding and practice of music during the Baroque era. Legacy and influence Although Bonporti's compositions were not widely known during his lifetime, his work influenced later composers, including Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach owned a copy of Bonporti's violin sonatas and incorporated some of his ideas into his own compositions. Bonporti's music continued to be performed and studied in the following centuries, highlighting his lasting impact on the development of Baroque music. Late Life and Death Francesco Antonio Bonporti lived a relatively quiet life in Trento during his later years. He continued to compose and teach music, leaving behind a legacy of both theoretical writings and musical compositions. He passed away in 1749, but his contributions to music remain significant, with his work still appreciated and studied by musicians and scholars today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.